Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob and Dr. Case and Dee Maria. We are so happy to be with you tonight. We're going to be talking about some really special stuff, right, Dr. Kaysen? We are. We're going to be talking about your brain and why you need oil in your body. So I know we're going to jump right in, Dr. Bob. So why does our body need oil? Well, you just kind of mentioned it. Um, your brain needs fat. Actually, I'm working on a book right now on mental health. And several years ago, I wrote a book on ADHD, and I was really fortunate to learn in the 1980s, how many of you weren't even born then, Dr. Anthony, Dr. Kaysen, I learned that there's a fat called DHA that has everything to do with nervous system and brain health. And ADHD kids grow up to be ADHD adults, and all these ADHD adults today are gonna have problems with depression, Alzheimer's, because your brain sends messages on a layer of fat. So, quick question out there. How many of you at home watching us right now need a little help with your brain and concentration? Some of you right now are actually watching us. Everybody. <laughs> Some of you are watching us online while you're typing, reading, texting, watching YouTube videos. So we're going to we're going to help get this started. So I know I have some questions here on oils, Dr. Bob, and we have a variety here. So it's going to be good to talk about all these two. Let, isn't it? Let's talk about oils that people should focus on in their body and why and what ones to avoid. Well, you know, I guess the most important thing is you want to make sure that you are eating good food that actually has oils in it. Like walnuts would be an example of a food that has it. Any type of green is going to be a source of a precursor. So foods have to go through steps to become what we call a long chain fat. For your brain, it's called DHA. For your heart, it's called EPA. But you know, we have a variety of oils here and probably this is one of our favorites. It's the Biomega 1000 from Biotics Research Corporation. This is anchovy mm -hmm. and sardine oil, small fish. We don't promote salmon oil. We don't promote tuna oil mm -mm. because a lot of the salmon today is farm raised, quite toxic. We have found that the sardine and the anchovy oil being a smaller fish will directly go for the brain and for the heart, EPA for the heart and DHA for the brain. And we also use flax oil. I also use black currant seed oil, which mm -hmm. is omega-3, 6, and 9. And that's really been good for skin, especially some of you watching me right now have dry skin, dry, itchy skin. Black currant seed oil is really good for that, Dr. Kaysen. And a couple other oils we have are organic, and this is extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. This is something also we talk about cooking and what oils to incorporate. I know we promote grass-fed butter, olive oil, and even I know the medium chain fatty acid. This is organic virgin coconut oil. You really want to make sure that you're looking at your oils because I know Dr. Bob, you and I were looking at even the, the color. And if you can see this at home, this is olive oil and this is soybean oil. Soybean oil, I want you to think about a skull and crossbones because <laughs> it's toxic. And I want to share with you, I want you to start looking at all your salad dressings because this is an area where a lot of people, they think that they're doing a wonderful job with choosing the Greek dressing, the overall Italian dressing, all these different things. And that is an area where you're gonna be getting these toxic oils. And I know the omega-6s, which will cause inflammation in your body. Well, I think it's really, you made such a valid point. So I wanna just share a couple thoughts here. This is a medium chain fatty acid. This is an omega-3 fat. This is an omega-9 oil. Also could be sourced from avocados. So this happens to be Annie's organic, nope, this is not an organic one, shiitake dressing. When you look at the ingredients, it has canola oil, soy, and or sunflower oil those oils, as Dr. Kaysen said, especially the sunflower oil and the safflower oil, will cause inflammation in your body. So I'm gonna break some news to you right now. In the last two years, there's been a shift in, excuse me, oil production in America. It used to be soybean oil, it used to be canola oil, and now we're seeing more safflower oil and sunflower oil 
which causes inflammation in the body. If it causes inflammation in the heart, it's going to cause inflammation in your brain. And it's a major, major problem right now that we are mm -hmm. seeing in our practice. And some of you out there are peanut butter lovers. They and I love know peanuts. some of you even come in and say, but it's organic peanut butter and there's only peanuts in it. Just to give you a little example of Jif, if you flip this over and look at the ingredients, made from roasted peanuts, but it also has sugar, molasses, fully hydrogenated vegetable oils, including rapeseed and soybean, which we were just talking to in regards to that being toxic. So this pure vegetable oil, if you look at the back of it, what's interesting is it says pure vegetable oil. Pure place. And then you look at the ingredient and it says soybean oil. So for some of you, you really wanna be detectives in looking at these ingredients because from our experience with doing this omega test, which we're gonna talk about in a moment, we find that these different oils, even that could be in your almond butter, they could be in your dressings. I've even found it in hummus, hummus. So I know Dr. Anthony and myself, we've really transitioned even our dressings, hummus, things that you would think that don't have these sunflower oils. It's, it's really, really, I think they're transitioning from the soy and canola being healthier but it's still impacting the brain. It's not good. I mean, this we're definitely on the leading edge of learning a lot about inflammation in the body. So how do you determine what oils you have, Dr. Bob? Well, it's really interesting because we use a company called LabCorp, and LabCorp is national, so you could be watching us pretty much anywhere in the United States. A few East Coast uh, states don't allow us to write a requisition for their state, like um, New York, I think, and maybe New Jersey, but the omega test, it'll check you for the EPA, which is heart, DHA for the brain, and it looks at the ratio of the omega-3 to omega-6 fats, and they should be 50-50. We have only had a few people that they had actually normal omega-3 oils in relationship to the omega-6, so we're able to forecast if you have potential to have low, medium, or high-risk heart challenges. But what we're really seeing, if you have this elevated arachidonic acid, which is a form of a fat, you're gonna have inflammation. But what we're really seeing is, we're gonna be able to forecast if you have the potential to get dementia or Alzheimer's. And I'm gonna tell you, Dr. Kaysen, most people I speak to are afraid that they're gonna lose their minds. And if your DHA is low, and you are eating these oils that we just shared with you cause inflammation, I want to break it to you right now. You have a great potential to have a memory loss challenge because of this DHA. I can't wait till my book comes out. Mm -hmm. It'll be a huge difference for everybody. Mm -hmm. So you can contact us anywhere in the United States right now. We could literally send you a requisition and you could go to a LabCorp, have a LabCorp test done. I'll just give you one example. We had a gentleman that came to see us that was schizophrenic. He was bobbing his head. Let's say the normal linoleic acid is five or less. His was at 43. So he had a lot of inflammation in his body. And I know a lot of you out there. So what one thing I know, so when you see these sunflower seeds and sunflower items and you think you're doing the right thing, I want you to think again. Grab the walnuts because walnuts, they are shaped like little brains. They, they sure they're, are. They're good for your brain and your body. And I know if someone you know has challenges with memory, focus, I know more people now, they're looking looking at their, their family, they're looking at other people and they say, you know what, I want to do something now. And this is a great test to see what else is going on in your body. So if you're looking for that, I encourage you to call our office today. We are here to make a difference for you. You'll be glad you did. That's exactly right. One tablespoon of flax soil per 100 pounds every day. A little test. If you prick your finger and you're bleeding profusely, you're taking too much oil. You don't want to mix oil and aspirin because you're going to have a major bleed problem. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is a very important video. Make sure you send it on to your friends and family. See you next time. <laughs>